Okay guys, today we're gonna take a look at something very, very annoying. And I'm talking about that Bluetooth stuff that no matter what you do, you cannot remove some of the devices. And th this is extremely annoying to me personally. Some of them sometimes you can remove. For example, let me try to get rid of this J-Labs. Yes, let's see if it removes device. And usually when it takes this long, it doesn't. And this is not the only device, by the way. Remove failed. This is, this is extremely annoying. Extremely annoying. Let me see if I can remove this other one really quick before we go ahead and it doesn't look like it will remove fail this is this is okay that's it's unbearable now what you guys gonna do go to devices right here device manager and as you see here we have a million bluetooth things and yes i was in the middle of i removed my main bluetooth wireless i installed a dongle i tried to remove the whole bluetooth driver i restarted updated rollback updates know that nothing seemed to fix it i think i found the solution if you go when you're here at the devices let me close this one down go to view and go show hidden devices now here is where we have the problem we have all these ghosts here just lingering around and i found out that some of them, for example, if I remove them, or at least I remove these that look ghostly, it will allow me to remove the regular ones after that. So for example, this one right here, the first one, let's see if we can now uninstall this one after removing the ghost. Okay, it's right here. Remove the vice and boom, gone. Now let's see this one that we tried. Let me remove all these ghosts around it. That excuse me if i'm not saying it properly i'm just calling it a ghost because that's how it looks to me okay i'm gonna uninstall it from here i'm gonna uninstall its uh transport mode okay now let's go here and click remove device removing device and it's gone this is perfect <laughs> And as you see, a lot of them have been removed already. And I'm just going through them, removing them one by one, no matter what. Is don't, keep in mind, if you remove them all one by one here, after obviously you have this part here, show hidden devices. When you restart your computer, technically only your main Bluetooth should come up on the devices list, which would be whether Intel or a dongle or whatever you have as you see yes i have a dongle uh I, I don't like that word but that's what we call it now so i'm gonna just keep calling it a dongle or external usb bluetooth but it should come back and reinstall itself because that one is a physical device installed on your computer so i'm just gonna remove as many as i can right here real quick so we can see if we can get rid of all this i would call it garbage excuse my language for a lack of a better term okay at this point whoo after a million years yes i'm still showing hidden devices but there's no hidden devices left after a million years looks like they have been removed and all this stuff that you see right here i am actually using right now so i'm not gonna remove those those are all mine what i'm gonna do i'm gonna restart this computer and come back and see if they come back because if they come back, we didn't really resolve anything here. It might work for some of you, but let's see it. Okay, guys, computer just restarted. Let's go back to our Bluetooth. Okay, it is on. Okay, looks like everything is actually gone. Yeah, that's my speakers. That's the... Mo yeah, I have that Motorola already connected right now. So it reconnected itself with... <laughs> I forgot it on. But the rest of the stuff is actually gone. And this method actually doesn't uh, only work for your Bluetooth devices. You can go to your uh, devices here. Sometimes there is kind of ghostly. I, I don't know, I as I said before, what to call them. Uh, not on networks, but let's say you have some uh, USB devices that you cannot remove. And sometimes they are right here. Go to here, view, show hidden devices. And you can go down here and check 
what's being hidden. And if you notice, for example, AS Media, I know what these are, but if you know, for example, what a USB device is refusing to be removed from your computer, that's how you do it. You go here, click X here, or you can click here and uninstall. And then after you do that, you go uninstall the main device and all that stuff. And you should be good to go now. The problem here is not my Bluetooth module exactly, kind of, but it's mostly due to Microsoft. And I've noticed that more times than one. And unfortunately, I still don't see any better way to do it except for this one that you just saw in this video and no i was not just lucky but it actually worked i this is the third computer that i'm doing exactly this uh method to remove these devices and it's working so was i extremely lucky or is that a real method that works you can go try it it doesn't hurt if your bluetooth devices are not being removed and refusing to be removed i guess there is one way to know and with that said please hit like and subscribe. You can check my Amazon store down in the description. Any links that you click on the description are affiliate links that you don't pay anything extra, but you help this channel and me. Anyway, in any case, I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.